Big things come in small packages and I've got something inside this bag that I can't wait to show you guys. This is the E-Lite, E-Propulsion's newest electric outboard. With its sleek design and internal battery, the E-Lite is the lightest, most affordable, and portable electric outboard in E-Propulsion's ever-growing lineup. The E-Lite is set to release in the U.S. market in spring 2024, but as you can see, I got my hands on one a little early. Big thanks to E-Propulsion's U.S. distributor, Mac Boring Parts Company, for allowing me to borrow one of only three E-Lights in the United States to capture some content and get to know the little outboard that could. In this video, you'll see everything you want to know about the all-new E-Propulsion E-Lite. I'll cover specs and details, cost, runtime, and my first impressions, straight from the box to mounting it on the boat. Speaking of which, I have the perfect boat to demo this outboard on, a new and future project here on the channel, my Milia Light Skiff. I was able to hit the water and see how the outboard felt and performed on my new rig. So stick around and let's get into it. If you watch this video and decide you want to learn more about purchasing an E-Lite, I'm going to leave the links in the video description. The E-Lite is already live on the tbnation.net website and available now for pre-order. Estimated shipping is just a few months away, so definitely check that out. TB Nation is the number one e-propulsion dealer in the U.S. and they have a great customer service network as well as being certified to service e-propulsion electric outboards. Here's another new bait drop from Six Sense Fishing that you're going to want to check out. This is the all new Party Minnow 3.0. What you see here is the perfect drop shot swim bait. But the party doesn't stop there as you can also fish this bait on a small jig head, split shot, and more. Available in a variety of awesome colors on SixCentsFishing.com. Code Brigade gets you 10% off your entire order. We'll start things off with the specs, details, and cost of the E-Lite. This electric outboard is 500 watts. There is a sport mode that allows you to run 750 watts for a short period of time. The integrated battery is 378 watt hours at 25.2 volts lithium ion. This gives you a full throttle runtime of 45 minutes with an estimated trip of just under four miles. At half throttle, these numbers are doubled. Out of the box, the E-Lite comes with a charger and a very handy carrying bag, which I think is a pretty cool bonus. The motor and mounting bracket total weight is just 17.4 pounds. The outboard features a digital display, a USB-C charging port, an extendable and adjustable throttle, the one-click connecting bracket, and an adjustable shaft length. I'll show all of this in further detail later in the video. And the most commonly asked question, what's the cost? The E-Lite is currently retailing at $999. This tiny outboard has a wide array of options it could be used in. If you have a yacht, you can use the outboard on a small tender to get to shore. This outboard will be great on inflatables and small aluminum or plastic boats. It's an option for those with a small private lake or pond boat, and this thing will be killer on kayaks. The point I'm trying to make is the E-Lite is a viable upgrade and a new option for those running transom-mounted trolling motors on a deep cycle battery or those who are tired of their small gas outboards. If you have a large boat, need long run time, or you want high speeds, this outboard probably isn't for you. But for those others I described, the E-Lite is definitely worth the consideration. Now let's check out the setup and the operations of the E-Propulsion E-Lite. The setup really couldn't be any easier. You take the outboard clip and secure it to the transom. Then you take the outboard and clip it on, locking it in place. From there, you just adjust the tiller handle how you like it. And once you're in the water, you can lower the outboard at the push of a button. On the shaft where it attaches to the outboard is adjustable. You're gonna see these six bolts there you could remove those and you'll see there's holes so if you need to adjust this for your boat up up or down whichever way you want to go it is adjustable right now we've got it locked in to the highest setting tiller is also adjustable and you'll see on this side you just pull this out get it where you want it set it and forget it you'll see here you got forward reverse and one thing that I've seen with e-propulsion over the years is their throttles on their tillers are really, really dialed in and precise. I've used a variety of electric outboards that I was not pleased with the precision 
on finding forward and reverse and that separation and here there's no doubt about where you're at and you could even hear it click up here is your on off button and right here believe it or not is a USB-C port I'm going to show you what we're going to do with that out on the water here in a little bit and then right here is your charging port you can just charge this thing in a typical standard wall plug and it came with the charger everything you see is included I'm going to turn this bad boy on, push the on button and hold. You hear it beep, you got it on, and you're going to see our watts. When you're running wide open throttle, this thing's going to run 500 watts. Now there is a turbo mode that I'm going to show you guys that you can engage. that will give you 750 watts. There you see neutral. We're in neutral. It'll indicate forward or reverse also on the screen. You've got your battery meter and right there, that flashing light means that I forgot my safety. This magnetic clip clips in. You'll see that light went off. You could put this around your wrist while you're operating the tiller. In the event of an accident, this comes right off, kills the motor. Now I'm gonna tilt the motor. Super simple, lift the tiller, lift the motor, locks in. For demonstrative purposes, you could hear how quiet this thing is. Here's an example of how this safety works. We've got the outboard on. All right, guys, now I wanna show you that USB-C. Just pull this, plug it in. This is a really cool feature that you may or may not get use out of, but you could actually plug your phone in. And as you can see, my phone is now charging. It's just uh, charging off the outboard here. And you could charge your phone, anything with a USB-C, GoPro, drone. So whatever it may be, as long as it's a USB-C plug, but you're going to need a USB-C to USB-C. It's not a USB. Pretty cool feature by the folks at ePropulsion. Always thinking of ways to innovate and set their outboards designs apart from the competition. The outboard has your outboard and then your transom clip, which is has tilt on it. This simply snaps in and now we are locked in. You wanna release it, hit this button, comes right back off. So super simple setup, two piece deal. To unlock it, you're gonna pull this up, push that blue button in. You could go whichever way you want. It's that simple, super easy, super simple. So easy a cousin can do it. Next, I'm gonna cover the on the water performance. Woo! It's pretty cool, man. First impressions? Uh, it definitely feels faster than a standard like 12 volt trolling motor, transom mount trolling motor, super quiet. And it uh, moves this boat really good, man. A couple things I like most about the Elite was the compact design. The transom clip to mount the outboard on is super clever. This is the most user-friendly outboard that I've ever used. And I can't speak enough about how well the throttle felt. It was precise and smooth when turned. And with the adjustable and extendable tiller, it's incredibly easy for everyone to find a comfortable position. All right, we're out on the water doing the top speed run on the E-Propulsion Elite. And as you can see, full throttle. Let me flip the camera around. All right guys, top speed with four and a half miles per hour, 4.5 and actually, I just thought, I never ran it in turbo mode, so I need to get back out on the water. In sport or turbo mode, which is bumping it up from 500 to up to 750 watts, this thing just ran 4.8 miles per hour. So it gave us three tenths more of a mile per hour. Now for the conclusion and my final opinion. I'll admit when I first heard about this outboard, I had low expectations. 
But after seeing it in person and using it out on the water, I actually want one. I definitely see a time and a place for this little outboard. Of course, this outboard isn't for everyone. If you're looking for an extended runtime or high top speeds, this isn't it. If you're looking for the absolute cheapest way to get out on the water, this isn't it either, nor was it designed to be. There's pros and cons and give and take when developing an outboard like this, but I think the Elite excels in enough categories at its price point to be a dangerous competitor in the small electric outboard or trolling motor market. They're gonna sell these things like hotcakes and I want one. This thing is pretty cool, man. I think this is a transom mount trolling motor killer. E-Propulsion, you guys knocked it out of the park. Thank you to Mac Boring Parts Company for shipping this motor down. Again, guys, there's only three of these in the country right now and tomorrow this thing is getting shipped to the Miami Boat Show. So thank you, Mac Boring, for trusting me with this demo outboard to shoot this video to give everybody on the channel a first look at this E-Propulsion E-Lite.